Hey friends, today I am going to be dining at Sebastian's Bistro at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. And since I have a park reservation for Hollywood Studios and I plan on coming and hanging out here afterwards, I parked at Hollywood Studios and I'm going to take the Skyliner over to the resort and uh, enjoy some food. So, let's go do this. As I was approaching the Skyliner station, I realized that I still need to wear a mask when I'm using transportation and I don't have any more mask on me, but luckily they actually have complimentary masks to give you. So in case you're ever in the scenario like me, they have ones to give you and I think that's amazing. Sebastian's Bistro just recently reopened and it's a completely different new dining experience. It's actually all you care to enjoy, I believe, and it's probably similar to most of the new restaurants with the reopenings with the skillets and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to see what it's going to be like. Thank you. No problem. You just grab one. Bada boom. Oh, I grabbed two. Bonus for me. <laughs> I was so nervous when I got up here and I realized I didn't have a mask, so it's so amazing that they actually give them out. And now I'm ready for a nice little Skyliner ride. It also looks like we have ourselves a little storm approaching, so we'll probably get some rain later. Caribbean Beach Resort, with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. After we have dinner, like I said, I'd love to come over to Hollywood Studios and ride Tower of Terror. I hear that the Tower of Terror pre-show is back, so I'd love to see that, because that was one of my favorite pre-shows, but it all depends on the rain. Hopefully the rain stays away. But we're coming into station. It's also nice to see the cast members not having to wear the face mask as long as they're fully vaccinated, it's optional. And you can see some people are still wearing them, some aren't, but I'm just happy to have the choice. It's been just about 10 minutes since I got off the Skyliner and I'm feeling very blessed I haven't gotten rained on yet. I mean, those clouds are looking real angry. Definitely should be raining anytime soon. I know that when Sebastian's first opened up, a lot of people weren't raving about the food. So I like how now when everything is re-reopening, it's kind of giving it like a second chance, you know? And I feel like a lot of people or a lot of restaurants have definitely made a better menu since then. And I think this one is gonna be like that too. And here it is, Sebastian's Bistro, family style offerings. And it looks like you start off with an appetizer, an entree, and the entree is the taste of the Caribbean. So it's kind of like one of those skillet meals. It comes with citrus chicken, it comes with mojo pork, and then also a grilled flank steak. A lot of good accompaniments too. And you can enhance your experience and get coconut shrimp. And this is gonna be amazing. We'll go through the whole menu once we get in there, but I just wanted to give you a, a quick Quick overview. Right now, the restaurant isn't accepting reservations. It's going to start accepting reservations July 5th, I believe. I'm not too sure, but I'll double check. Uh, it's only doing walk ups. So basically, it's like a soft opening just to get the kinks out and see if they need to make any changes. So we're really lucky to be able to come here and try this out before it's actually open, open. And uh, I'm excited and I'm hungry. <laughs> It also looks like it started raining, so it's a good time to be dining inside. Hopefully the rain goes away by the time we get done so we can go enjoy Hollywood Studios a little bit. It is very important to eat a big meal and then to ride Tower of Terror because that's the only proper way to digest. And that's what I plan on doing. <laughs> I do have to say, if you do plan on coming to the soft opening, they got to get here early. It looks like there's a line of people waiting in the rain for the 5 o'clock opening. That's pretty amazing, don't you think? And now it's time. Our table is ready. And take a look at the dining room in here. Doesn't it look so sleek, clean? It smells fresh. I love it so much. And Sebastian is the main theme. 
now that we're all squared away at our table we can talk about the menu a little bit more and the pricing it is $29 for adults $29 which I believe that is like the cheapest family style meal I think on Disney property I'm trying to think of other ones that are around the $35 price range this is in character dining and I'm not too sure if it's all you can eat but we'll find out but $29 it's that's a fairly decent like price here is the QR code if you guys want to scan it. Just hold your phone up to the screen there. And this is the menu on the My Disney Experience app. Now, a couple of favorites that are coming back are the pull apart rolls, which are phenomenal. And then also the house made coconut pineapple bread pudding. I've had this bread pudding and it actually ranks up there with Ohana bread pudding. That's how good it is. The only thing that you actually have to order is your drink. Everything else will come out in order. So obviously you get your pull apart bread, which is phenomenal, the salad and your entrees. And uh, you can get a signature drink. All the other drinks are included in the $29 price. So soft drinks and coffee. They have a new create your own rum old fashioned with tons of selections. And I thought that was really cool. And uh, yeah, we have to see what I'm gonna get to drink now. I talked to the cast member and they did say that it is family style so if you do choose to have more they'll bring it out to you so if you want more chicken they'll bring out more chicken and everything else now the only thing I don't know if that includes is the fried shrimp so you can uh, enhance your taste of Caribbean and you get that fried shrimp and it's eight dollars onto the $29 price tag so I wonder if you can get all you can eat shrimp because I think that's a big ticket item there I'm gonna apologize in advance. It might be a little bit loud in here. Super busy, so I lined up originally around four o'clock and exactly at five o'clock, now this is without reservations, it jumped up to an hour wait time as soon as the doors open on just walk-ups alone. So it's a full house and it's very loud and a lot of people just enjoying their meals. And just like that, the appetizers, bread, and salad all came out very quickly. And take a look at the coconut shrimp here. Isn't that so beautiful? I can't wait to ask if this is endless because I feel like that is such a deal. And then the salad has candied walnuts in there. Such a beautiful looking salad. And we already know how much these pull apart rolls taste. Like these are so delicious. I can't wait to dive into this. The pull apart rolls are easily one of the best rolls on Disney property. I absolutely love it. And the salad has pumpkin seeds in it. How cool is that? Like, uh, at first I was like, well, this is way too pretty to eat, but I'm gonna actually dive in there. I can't wait to actually try all of it. I'm gonna try a little bit of the salad now. It has a key lime dressing, which I think I'll actually like. Normally, I'm not a big fan of salads because I don't like dressing. I mean, I'll eat the salad, but uh, I'm not, like I said, I don't like salad dressing. So sometimes it's hard to actually get a good salad, but I think I might like this one. It's got all the elements to things that I like. Candied walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and key lime dressing. That is such a sweet, enjoyable salad. I don't talk about them that often because like I said, it's the dressing is usually my issue, but I absolutely love this. I mean, this is really top notch right here. Now, I think it's time to try the coconut shrimp. <laughs> I do love me coconut shrimp and it's got definitely a nice crisp to it. I can tell already, so we'll find out. Oh yeah, that is so good. <laughs> I really, really enjoy these. The coconut is not too overpowering and the shrimp is just very airy. It's very delicious. It's not too greasy either. So I'm a big fan of coconut shrimp here. Hopefully they're all you can eat. We'll find out. The coconut shrimp was delicious, but I confirmed that it is not all you care to enjoy or not family style. So if you do decide that you want more shrimp, you have to pay another $8 on top of it, which honestly, I don't think it's that great of a deal. Uh, you know what I mean? Because you're it's basically an enhancement to the meal, so it's not a part of the main course itself. And I don't know, yeah, for eight dollars, uh, you get six pieces, you know what I mean? And this coconut shrimp was actually on the menu before, so it was a very popular item. So it brought back by popular demand, and I did like it, they were very delicious. 
now we're all finished up though it's time for the main course and i'm excited i kept a little pull apart roll because i think i can make myself a little pulled pork sandwich with the roll they have the mojo pork so you keep one roll and you make yourself a little sandwich and that's what i love to do as I was waiting for my food to come out, I seen some fancy drinks coming around the dining room and I was like, I need to get one of these. And this is Sebastian's Island Paradise. It's a non-alcoholic specialty drink and it's a frozen blend of passion fruit, orange and gobby juices. And I was like, okay, I'll take one of those. And it looks so beautiful. I can't wait to try this actually. Get a nice little pineapple on top. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, wow. So good. <laughs> and now the main course has arrived. And take a look at this. That is so beautiful, isn't it? We have an oven roasted citrus chicken right here. The slow cooked mojo pork with the mango sambal. And then also they have the flank steak over here. And the flank steak absolutely looks amazing look at that like i'm pumped to try this and it's got the perfect temperature to it so it all looks really really good and i think that that is like a mojito relish on there it looks like cu cucumbers and mint and all the fixings i think i'm gonna try the flank steak first <laughs> i know sometimes i like to save the things i'm gonna like most for last but this just looks so good oh boy look at that perfect temperature i'm sure if you want to cook a little bit more they can do that for you but i want to make sure i get as much mojito relish on there as i could a little cucumber a little mint that's the way oh okay here we go <laughs> Oh my lord, that is amazing. Wow. I really love this relish. And now, I think I'm going to dive into the pork. Should I try it with some of the mango symbol first, or should I just try the pork on its own? I think we'll just do pork on its own first. I do love me some pulled pork. And like I said, I got that dinner roll over there waiting to make myself a little pulled pork sandwich. Now we'll just make our way right down to the chicken, the pork is phenomenal honestly that might be my favorite thing i don't see the chicken being better than the pork but i mean i could be wrong so we'll try this is very unique this is a unique dining experience a big change in flavor so you uh, like i said i'm very happy i'm very shocked with this so we're gonna get a little drumstick here i'm really impressed with this that is so delicious. And then we still have sides to get to. We got broccolini, we got curry. This is a tomato-based curry and it's got peppers in there. And then also cilantro, lime, and beans. So there's so much happening right now. I'm so excited. Yesterday, we had some amazing rice at the wave. So now I'm gonna give this rice a go. I love cilantro and I love lime. A lot of cilantro lime in this dish itself. And now it's time to prepare our sandwich. Look at this. We're going to pull this apart. Then we're going to take some of this pork, put it right in there perfectly like so. Oh yeah, just like that. We're going to take a little bit of that mojito relish. Excellent. And then the mango symbol right there. Get it all there. Absolutely wonderful. Close it up. Bada bing and bada boom. <laughs> High expectations right here. Here we go. Absolutely so much flavor in that. Holy moly. <laughs> so delicious. I really, really love it. What a combination. I am feeling so full already. Everything is delicious. And don't forget, we still have that coconut pineapple bread pudding to come. And I don't know. I, I think I want to order something. I feel like if I get some more steak, I can eat the steak. It wasn't a big portion of the steak. And I want to see if you can actually get more. Uh, so I'm going to ask for maybe another helping of steak. And just work on the sides a little bit. I'm, in, I'm excited. I haven't tried the curry yet. I'm going to give the curry a go. 
Look at that. All the good stuff in there. So we're gonna just get ourselves a nice big boom. Oh yeah. Curry's good too. <laughs> that is seriously a lot of food. And here's my steak. See, they brought over just a little portion of steak for me. So I like that they do all you care or family style for these. Like they'll always get you more. The only thing that they won't is the coconut shrimp. And I didn't think that was a possibility. Coconut shrimp or well, shrimp in general is pretty expensive. So still very, very good. And take a look at this. So <laughs> the manager seen that I was enjoying this drink so much. So he brought out the other one. This is the flounder. Isn't that beautiful? They actually dye the ice cream blue. That is so awesome. I can't wait to try this now. That was so cool that they brought that out. Oh boy. Here we go. Wow. That can be a dessert. Like, wow. I mean, I feel like it is a dessert with the ice cream in it and the pineapple juice. Holy moly. It's like a Dole Whip. Both of them were phenomenal. Now I got two fancy drinks and I'm gonna work my way through them and also try some banana pudding. Okay, bring on the bread pudding. Pineapple and coconut bread pudding. I am so ready and it has a little ice cream and some caramel sauce. Oh, so delicious. All right, there you go. Look at that. Oh, much too good for children. Much <laughs> wow, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so they pour it on table side, and that was so amazing. All right, I'm just gonna dive right in here. A little bit of ice cream, a little bread pudding, everything all together, some caramel sauce. The world is right. <laughs> Seriously, that is so, so good. Oh man, wow. It really does rank up there with me with best bread pudding, including Ohana, like, oh. You can really just taste the pineapple and all the other flavors and the bread pudding isn't soft. I feel like that is a big thing with bread pudding. I don't like soggy bread pudding. Nobody likes soggy bread pudding. It holds its consistency even when they put the ice cream on and the caramel. And that's why I love it. I love it. And with that, I think we are done dining at Sebastian's. And it looks like we're going to have to brave the storm here. It must have started raining while we were in there eating. It stopped as soon as we went in. But now, back to the dreary rainy days. Overall, I really do have to say I love that restaurant. It was so amazing and I think what they did with the menu was such a step up and actually the cast members in there were so cool and they were so happy that the restaurant was opening up again everybody was hustling and bustling i seen the coordinators and i even seen like the managers and the supervisors bussing tables because there was a line of people out here waiting to get in there there's no reservations it's all walk up so they're really trying to get people in so that they can enjoy it now one thing i do have to point out is i think that this is closed tuesdays and wednesdays the sign says thursday through monday 5 p.m to 10 p.m and and all you do is walk up and then eventually after in july you can make a reservation on a my disney experience app but wow this was so good so amazing i was gonna take off running but it looks like the gondolas are stopped so there's no sense of running and getting in the rain and getting wet for nothing i might as well wait to see if it stops Looks like the rain stopped enough that maybe I can start heading to the Skyliner station. I'm using my hat as a guard because it's still drizzling just a little bit, but I don't want any water dropping in the mic. You know what I mean? It kind of makes that big, like, gigantic noise whenever a water drop hits the mic. Doesn't look like the Skyliner is running, though, so we might just be waiting it out for a while here. Oh. Yep. I think we're going to be waiting a while. Lordy, everything is just at a standstill here. Like there is a severe lightning warning. Like, oh wow, this is two days in a row. The weather has not been great here in Florida the past couple of days. Like it looks really dark and gloomy and scary over there. But then just take a look at the, the other side of things. So nice, so reflecting. 
we honestly might not make it back to Hollywood Studios. I mean, the park closes at 8. I think it's almost 7 now. And it doesn't look like we're going anywhere anytime soon. Looks like they're evacuating the uh, Skyliner and telling us to go down here to the bus stop. So we're going to have to take a bus from Caribbean Beach back to Hollywood Studios. I had no idea that there was even a bus station right next to the Skyliner station. I've never seen it before and I never thought that during a big lightning storm they would need to be able to get everyone back to their resorts or to their parks. So this is really interesting to see. Like I've never experienced this before. The Disney Skyliner Bus Depot. And we're just sitting here waiting and they have some buses that just say internal resort shuttle. We got Rocket over there and we're just waiting. Whoa, did you just see that? That's why the that's why the Skyliner is not running at the moment. Holy moly. You go. Oh yeah. This is really cool. I haven't been on a bus in forever. I definitely don't think we're gonna make it inside Hollywood Studios. It's 7.30 now. Probably waiting, uh, like I said, maybe about an hour now. An hour at the gondola station, so I don't think uh, Tower of Terror is in our plans for today. But who knows, we might. Well, we made it back over to Hollywood Studios, but now we're gonna have to run in the rain. It's our only way. I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty stuck here. The park is going to close in about 10 minutes, so uh, I don't think we're going to head in. I feel a little sad. I really would have loved to close out the night with a trip on Tower of Terror, but I guess we'll have to save that for another day. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to try to make it to my car without getting soaked, and uh, yeah, I really love Sebastian's. It was such a pleasant experience, and all of the CMs were fantastic, and it was great overall. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Guess I'll just make the best of it. Don't mind the rain. <laughs> oh boy. My feet are soaked though, I tell you that. These are big droplets, I can tell you that. Oh my lord, this is the worst I've ever been. Holy moly! Oh. Wow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can make it! We can make it! Oh, holy moly! Wow! Oh. Okay, we gotta put the camera away. It's not gonna survive this. This is driving home from the theme parks here in Florida. Holy moly. It is like a monsoon out there.